Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Teenager Who Cooks. Today, we will be making more Korean food. Today, the dish of the day is Korean tofu stew. So, I will be introducing the ingredients here. First of all, most importantly, we have tofu. This is uh, 18 ounces of tofu. But the most important thing is when you're shopping for this tofu is you want silken tofu or just super soft tofu. If you have like tough tofu, then it won't really taste that good with the tofu stew. Next, we have chicken broth. You can, if you don't have chicken broth at your house, you can also use water or just some other type of broth. Anything will really work. We have one egg. We're gonna add this in at the end. Here we have Korean um, red pepper flakes or red pepper powder. And then here we have around five ounces of thinly sliced meat. This is a half cup of thinly sliced kimchi. Here we have one and a half teaspoons of garlic. Here we have kimchi um, pickling juice. And then this is sesame oil. Okay, now let's start cooking. So, we'll turn the heat on and we'll add a little more than one teaspoon of sesame oil. This is half teaspoon, so I'll just add three of these. Next, we'll add in our garlic. And then we'll add in our kimchi. And then we can add in some kimchi pickling juice, around a few tablespoons maybe. And then next, we can put in our meat. We'll just add in some chili flakes. They'll have to be very exact with this. I'll just put in like as much as I want to. <laughs> and then we'll just kind of stir it around until the meat is near cooked. Now our meat is almost cooked and then we'll add in our chicken broth. And what we want to do here is we'll just bring it to a boil and then continue to boil it for three to four minutes after that. So now our um, stew was boiled and then it was boiled for another th four minutes. And now we're just gonna add the tofu in kind of large chunks. Don't have to be precise at all with this. Just add the tofu. And then we'll just continue cooking it for another four to five minutes. Also, another quick thing, just after you add your tofu, you can add some salt and some black pepper. And then obviously you wanna stir. Now our tofu stew is finally ready and we can take it off the heat. Look at the boiling goodness. And then as just a final touch, we'll add in a few chopped scallions. Beautiful. And then while it's still kind of boiling hot like this, what I like to do is just add a raw egg. And then the easy way to get it cooked really fast is just to kind of like layer the soup on top of the egg so that the egg goes under. Just like that. 
And now your tofu stew is ready. And we'll just pour it into separate bowls so our family can share. Here is the final product. It looks super good. And if you want, you can also break your tofu into smaller chunks if you enjoy it that way. But this was our episode of Korean tofu stew. We hope you enjoyed and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos every week.